Welcome to Technically Speaking. Today I'd like to talk about a concept that allows traditional punch press style forming tools to be used in a press break. So what we have is a system that we call uh, the brake partner, which is a, a system that allows the components of the punch press style forming tools to be used on a press break. We'll head out to the shop here and have a look at how this works, um, exactly how it gets set up, and what it looks like running in a press break. So let's get started. So of course in the sheet metal fabrication world there's a lot of situations where forms need to be made in the sheet metal, such as this very simple round emboss that we have here, or of course a lot more complicated forms can also be made. And here's the tool that would be used in a traditional punch press, a simple punch and die, and here's the holder that this tool would go in for the punch press along with its stripper plate. Now if we want to run this in a, a brake press instead of in the punch press, the brake partner can be used to use these same components. So here now we use a, a different stripper plate and a different punch holder, and we put that in this upper unit with a different system for the springs to provide pressure on the stripper plate. And then we have a die holder to hold the die, and then to keep the alignment between the upper and lower, we have the guide pins to make sure that that alignment is perfect. So let's go ahead and get this assembled and put it in a press brake, see how it works. Okay, so we've assembled the brake partner and we've installed it in the machine and now let's go ahead and see how it runs. So here's our sheet metal part. We've got a pre-cut hole in it um, and to align the part we have a pin in the center of the die that will line up with that hole. So we'll go ahead and put the part on the pin. That lines it up and let's go ahead and see it run. So that's the brake partner. It's a system which allows you to use your punch press tooling in a press brake for those situations where you don't want to put the part in your punch press for some reason. So I hope you like this type of video. Please go ahead and press like or submit comments or subscribe. Uh, if you have other ideas for videos that we could shoot, please go ahead and submit those to the email address that you see below. And for technically speaking, now you know.